Good morning everyone, this is Teacher Joanna and I will be your teacher in Hele. Now before we start our lesson, um, let us have first these words. Are you ready? Okay, so everyone, let us read. Changes. Again, everyone, changes. And then we have peers. Everyone, let us read. Peers. Next, we have visualize. Everyone, visualize so the words are changes peers and visualize now do you know the meaning of the words okay so let us know the meaning of the words everyone when we say changes that is becoming different okay that is changes and when we say peers a person with the same age status and ability that is peers and when we say visualize form of mental image so those are the meaning of the words now today everyone we are going to talk about the changes during puberty so what are we going to talk about the changes during puberty now are you ready to listen Okay, so if you are ready to listen, sit up straight, eyes on me, and ears on me. Focus. Okay, so let us talk about the changes during puberty. But before that, we have to know what is puberty. Okay, so puberty is the period in your life when you start to leave childhood and move on to become a teenager. As you can see, look at the pictures. Okay, so that is puberty. Again, puberty is the period in your life when you start to leave childhood and move on to become a teenager. The single most important sign that you have entered this stage in girls, okay, like you, um, you start to have your monthly period. Okay, so you know you're in the stage of puberty if you start to have your monthly period and we call that menstruation. Okay, for boys, um, you, um, you start to have wet dreams. Okay, so you know uh, that you're in the stage of puberty if, okay, if you start to have your wet dreams now these are the signs that you have reached sexual maturity okay again the period in your life when you start to live childhood and move on to become a teenager what do we call that puberty so when we say puberty that is the period in your life when you start to live childhood and move on to become a teenager so the sign for girls that you are in the stage of puberty is when you start to have your monthly period or we call it menstruation and for boys when you start to have your wet dreams now those are the signs that you've reached sexual maturity do you understand me now let us talk about the changes okay the changes the um that the changes in your um selves okay during puberty now the changes includes the following the first one is physical physical change now this refers to the change in your body structure and function such as growth in your in body parts height and weight okay so in puberty your physical appearance change okay the body structure and the function okay your but um, your body parts grow as um your height grow your weight okay all of it physical okay you change physically do you understand and then we have the next one emotional now in emotional change it includes the wide range of feelings okay or emotions which are more specific and intense okay so if, um if you reach the stage of puberty uh, your feelings here are intense your emotions are intense do you understand okay and then we have 
intellectual. Now, in intellectual change, it exhibits a higher level of thinking. Okay? So, um, this time, because you're not a child anymore, you're already a teenager, um, your thinking is in a higher level already. Okay? You can reason out and can visualize problems and concepts more concretely in your mind. Do you understand? Okay. Compared when you're still um, a child, you always um, ask um, your parents what to do, like this, like that. You can't do anything for yourself. You always get, um, you, you always go to your mother or your father. Okay. But um, in the stage of puberty, you're, you're in a higher level of thinking already. Now you can reason out and you can visualize problems and concepts and uh, more concretely in your mind. Do you understand? And the last one is social changes. Now, it, when you're a teenager um, already, you establish relationship with other people, especially with Years. Now, your, your relationship goes on a deeper and more or less permanent status. More or less permanent status. Do you understand? Okay. You socialize with other people. You establish relationship with other people, especially your peers. So now, who are your peers? Um, um, the, um, the people... Um, with the same age as you, that is your peers. Do you understand? And your re your relationship with them goes on a deeper and more or less permanent status. Do you understand? Okay. Now let's talk about the physical changes during puberty. Okay. So the physical changes, physical. Okay. Physical changes during puberty is that the rapid increase in height and weight. Okay, that's the first one. The rapid increase in height and weight. And then, the nose, the hands, and the feet begin to grow. Okay, so those are the parts of your body that begins to grow. So, as they grow taller, the thighs and legs become longer. Okay, so it become longer, your thighs and your legs. Now, the tone of your voice changes in both girls and boys. Do you understand? Okay, so your voice changes. And then, voice muscles become firmer and prominent. Okay, you can see the muscles already. Okay, and because it becomes firmer okay, and prominent. And then, the girl's breast becomes enlarged. Do you understand? Okay. And the skin becomes oily, making, making them prone to pimples. That's why many teenagers have these pimple problems. Okay? So, that's also one of the physical changes during puberty. Do you understand? Okay, so let's talk about the emotional changes. Now, in emotional changes, both, okay, girls and boys become sensitive to what others might, might say about them. Now, especially their physical appearance. Now, if you're a teenager already, you become sensitive to what other people might say about you, especially in your physical appearance, okay? Okay. Now, feeling of insecurity about their bodies makes them withdraw from others or makes them irritable and aggressive, okay? Emo as, as I've said a while ago, your emotions are intense already, okay? So, if you feel insecure, um, sometimes you feel irritable and then you become aggressive, okay? So, if you're insecure of your body, you're... you're you're thinking that oh, why is it why am i built like this okay that's that's the reason why we withdraw from others okay and it makes a, it, it 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 makes us irritable okay and ag aggressive and sometimes do you understand okay and boys and girls tend to intense their 
feelings. So, loyalty to... Example, okay? Loyalty to friends can be so deep. Okay? So, again, the word intense. Your emotions, your feelings are intense. That's why when you become a teenager, um, for example, um, loyalty to friends. Okay? Your loyalty to friends becomes so deep. Do you understand? Okay, so let's proceed to intellectual changes. The first one is the level of reasoning becomes organized. The level of your reasoning becomes organized. And then you support arguments by reasoning. Okay? And then operates a symbol system of language and mathematics. Okay, intellect is capable of socialized thinking okay so those are the intellectual change during puberty okay your reasoning is organized you support arguments by reasoning you operate a simple system of language and mathematics and you are capable of socialized thinking okay and the last one the social changes so Social circle becomes wide, okay? As you grow old, as you become a teenager, your social circle becomes wide. This means that they begin to establish relationship with other people outside the family. Do you understand? Okay. And then, you begin to widen your interest in games and sports, in dancing and singing. And you start going out with friends to attend parties okay socialize with other people okay and then um you only have limited social activities with the family okay you will see um that a teenager don't usually socialize with family anymore because they are um cope up or they tend to go to um other places with their friends not their family anymore that's why they they have limited social activities with the family okay but not with their friends because they are always with their friends okay you understand that is the social changes during puberty again we have physical change emotional change intellectual change and social changes during puberty okay so puberty is the stage in your life when you leave childhood and move on to teenager now girls you know that you're already in the stage of puberty if you start having your menstruation and for boys if you start having your wet dreams now these are the signs that you are already in the stage of puberty okay there are changes do you understand me okay so those are the changes during puberty now i have your question okay so what are the stages during puberty okay or what are the changes during puberty so we have the physical change the emotional change the intellectual change and the social change during puberty again puberty is the stage in your life for in you leave your childhood and move on to teen ager okay so everyone what have you learned today or what did you learn today we have learned today about the changes during puberty when we say puberty this is the stage of our life where we leave our childhood and move on to teenage um teenage life or teen you um so, someone at the bo a boy or a girl becomes teen ager Okay, so the changes during puberty are physical change, emotional change, intellectual change, and social changes. Okay, so if you really did understand the lesson, let us proceed to your practice exercise wherein you are going to answer pre-test page 142 to 143. That is your practice exercise. 
And here is your evaluation wherein you're going to answer post-test page 150 to 151. Okay, so don't forget to answer your practice exercise and your evaluation because I am going to check it. Do you understand? Okay, so here is your assignment. What are the stages of puberty? Okay, so don't forget to um, don't forget to do your assignment because I'm going to check it as well. Do you understand? Okay, so thank you for listening. See you in the next video. Bye bye.